Hello world, welcome back to Razor RC. Doing another video on the Red Cat Racing Piranha. Um, basically going to be removing the differential and then taking a look at that and seeing if I can um, prove the diff action a little bit. So one thing about this vehicle is that it's basically got an open diff. Um, the wheels just spin like super easily. So that kind of reduces traction. Um, doesn't get you as much traction um, in the corners as you need it kind of, kind of tends to lock up one wheel and the other one just kind of spin and not really uh, move freely so I'm going to take a look at that and see if we can't improve that somehow so uh, this is kind of a disassembly uh, video the screw right there Should remove that. Put that to the side. Um, I think we're gonna pop the uh, motor guard. I'm not sure it actually matters. Well, let's see here. Let's do the bottom ones. Let's do the bottom screws here. So there are four or six screws on here. Four. Looks like four holding on the transmission. Then there's two here for the motor guard. Okay. Huh. She's kind of loose. That was easy. <laughs> yeah, well, that was really easy. You got the motor out with uh, just like seven screws, I guess. Okay, put the uh, trick to the side there, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. Okay, now time to take apart the transmission. Uh, let's just take off the, the gear cover first, uh, just to see what it looks like. Okay, so as you can see, there's a spur and pinion. Um, no slipper on this guy. And I think we'll just remove the top of the motor guard. I don't. Yeah, you're gonna have to remove this. Thanks. Try not to strip these screws. Alrighty. Um. Looks like it's just held on with uh, some screws here on the back. So let's remove that. So you got one Phillips head for some reason. For some reason one is a Phillips head, the rest are not. Phillips head goes on the front. And then it looks like some two and a half mil. Yeah, two and a half mil. Do I need to keep the orientation the same just in case they're different lengths? I don't know if they are, but not a bad idea, just in case. Okay, so those four are the... And then that's the transmission. It seems like the motor mount is... Oh, okay. So that also holds on the motor mount, apparently. Okay. Pull the diff out. Okay, 
Okay, I'm using a clean sheet of paper towel here just so I don't get any of that dirt onto the diff. Uh, gotta pop off this bearing here. Just using a little flathead just to kind of work it all the way around. So we can get that off. Um, I doubt we gotta take off the other one, so we'll just try disassembling it from here. So there are two diff halves with four little Phillips head screws holding them on. I think a new diff is only like $18, so if you don't want, okay, so that's what the diff looks like. Um, just some grease in there, pretty much, just some black grease. Let's see if we can't pull those out. Um, or just some clear grease, actually. So I am curious whether this is sealed. Well, yeah, it does. It does actually have a rubber gasket. So I'm curious if this is a fully sealed differential. Pop the uh, screw out. My guess is it is. It's got a uh, rubber gasket around the whole thing. Yep, there you go. There's actually a black O-ring in there. So this is a fully sealed gear differential. Pretty nice. Um, certainly for a $66 or $89 RC car, that's way more than I would have expected. So I'm going to put that back together, probably clean this off, and then we're going to fill this with some fluid. Okay, I just kind of cleaned all the grease off, um, just wiped it down with a paper towel, uh, nothing too crazy here. You could use some um, motor cleaner or motor spray, that kind of thing. Simple green would also work, um, but I'm a bit lazy and not going to spend too much time on this stuff. Um, just kind of putting everything back in here. And so it seemed like I was missing one shim on one of these. Um, hopefully that doesn't actually matter. That looked like just a manufacturing thing. One of these uh, little spider gears did not have a shim on it. So hopefully that doesn't matter. Uh, I'm going to fill it up with some 10K diff fluid. I have no idea what the correct fluid is, but 10K is probably a good place to start. And then, uh, yeah, you just fill it up. Oops. The stuff actually it's pretty thick. Work it into all the crevices. Turn it a little bit. Let it kind of settle. Bet <laughs> your tip fluid come out of the bottle a little more. Okay, we're going to let that settle for a little bit. Okay, we've let the fluid sit for about 10 minutes. The next part to do is to reassemble the diff halves. So the easy way to do this to make sure all the gears mesh is to set up your uh, top half so that uh, the pin is just going up and down vertically with the four uh, screw holes on the four uh, corners. Um, and then you'll notice the, uh, what do you call it, the sun gear I think it's called. Um, you're gonna put right back into the diff so that it's flat and you turn it just so that again it is also straight up and down with that little slot there so I pretty much filled up the fluid up to uh, the top of the cross pins 
when it's all settled. And then this is the easy way to put the two halves together to make sure all your gears are going to mesh. So go ahead, now you got the two vertical slots and the vertical pin. Just put them together. And then your holes should pretty much just mesh, match up. And you go ahead and go ahead and put your diff screws back together. Well, you might need holding the diff by the gear, or the housing, not the top. So if there's no torque being applied to the top half, it's just lying there with the screws getting put back in. You obviously do not tighten them all the way. You just put them down about where it's starting to set, so that it's not actually seated yet. It's not actually pressing against the rubber gasket. You just uh, have it resting there. And then you put in the last screw here. Probably a good idea to do it vertically so that the fluid doesn't pour out on you. Okay, so the for all four are in, and now you just gotta tighten them down. So you you know you do your simple cross hatch pattern. You know, kind of about halfway each. Go again, Get another half or full turn maybe. And you just kind of do this a few times until you feel it pressing. And then just, just a light turn on them. You don't need to go crazy tight on these things just till you feel it kind of stop on all four where they pretty much there you go okay so that's it nice uh, limited slip diff action now a lot better than just the open grease and we'll see how this performs time to put the diff back together so I believe it's this way And just kind of check how the uh, make sure all the gears are. Actually, it's got a nice 32 pitch diff gears. I, I gotta admit. Um, I actually tend to run my transmissions dry, so a little bit of grease is like more than enough for me. Um, everyone's got a different opinion, but I definitely do not recommend just filling up your your gearbox with like white lithium grease, like I see some other people do. You can actually run them dry because it's just plastic on plastic. There's less drag. If you want to put a little bit of grease, uh, that's fine, but it should be a pretty light um, transmission. If they were metal on metal, then I would definitely put some grease in there, but um, plastic on plastic is not a big deal. Okay, now when you're uh, putting the screws back on the transmission, not a bad idea to put a little bit of Loctite on the screw holes that are uh, on the motor mount. So I just put a little dab in each hole. Because it is metal on metal. There's one more back here. Put a little in the screw hole and you get those long bolts and you're going to just put those on. Let's see if I can't line this up. Because this, these bolts are what is holding on the transmission onto the motor plate. And you don't need to go crazy tight on these. Just when it stops, it's done. And uh, something I like to do, put that off again. So that was the fifth screw. I think that's the whole transmission case. As soon as it stops, you stop. Um, something that's not a bad idea to do is to pop the pinion. And just spin this. Wow, there's a lot of resistance. So this thing should spin pretty freely. Um, it does not, so let's see if we can't get that a little better.
Hmm. Fair amount of resistance. Yeah, I really should be spinning a little more freely than that, but it's probably like grease in there. Not the highest quality uh, vehicle. That is a lot of resistance. Hmm. Let's check into that. Okay, I kind of uh, took the transmission apart. It just seems like the tolerances aren't that great, so um, it actually looks like this screw, if you tighten it down too much, you get too much drag, so uh, there's still some tight spots, but it's a little bit better now. It's actually spinning. Um, and then the other thing I'm gonna do is gonna remove this self-tapping screw and put in another uh, cap head screw just so it matches the rest. So at least I'm using the same screws on all the transmission pieces. Make sure it still spins freely. Okay. Yeah. Seems pretty good. You don't, you, so you don't want to tighten it so that there's too much drag like this top one. Seems like these two, if they're tightening down a little too much, then uh, it starts dragging. So those are the ones to watch out for on my transmission. Your transmission may be different. Um, and so yeah, let's just put this thing back together. Uh, assembly is reverse of disassembly, of course. Okay, we got the truck all buttoned up and put back together. So let me just kind of show you what it looks like now with the limited slip differential. Kind of does about a half turn when you flick it which is pretty much perfect. So I'd say 10K, maybe 15K if you want a little more traction, but um, that works a heck of a lot better than the stock uh, open differential with just some gear, uh, just some grease in there. So anyways, uh, I was pleasantly surprised. Gear differential is a fully uh, metal gear differential. It's sealed, so you should be able to uh, add some fluid and get some better uh, traction that way. So anyways, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe to my channel as always. Hope you enjoyed this video and look for more videos soon. Thanks, bye.